faces of society. This is Matthew here, the Mark V Jetta. Today, I'm going to be making this video on red matching, how to red match, and when to red match, and um, why to red match. Red matching can be used if you're trying to quickly overtake someone as you can red match into a lower gear so you have better acceleration. Red matching is really easy to do. What red matching is, is you're matching the RPMs of your engine to your clutch or your clutch to your flywheel. And the reason why you want to do this is because your clutch of course has friction material and by rev matching it to where it's going the same speed as your flywheel then you're not going to be wearing that friction material down which to most people that's not a big concern the way you do rev matching is when you're in a higher gear you put in the clutch to put it into a lower gear but in verse but versus releasing the clutch slowly like you normally would to slow down your vehicle um, when downshifting you put in the clutch and you rev the gas and you do this enough to where like I said that your clutch disc is going is going to be going the same speed as your flywheel for instance if I get up to a good speed and I want to downshift, I'm going to put in the clutch, put it into a lower gear, rev up, and downshift, just like that. Now, if you do it correctly, your car should be smooth. There should be very little jerkiness. There might be a little bit when you first start, and that's normal for most people. So once again, get into higher gear. If I'm in a higher gear, I want to downshift, put in the clutch, put in a lower gear, rev up, and release the clutch. Versus for, versus doing where you put in a lower gear and slowly let out the clutch like that. Um, so, once again, it just kind of reduces the wear. I'll do it one more time. So you can get up to speed, put it in third gear, fourth gear actually, and you just put in the clutch, put in a lower gear, and rev like that. Now this could be used for, like if you want to overtake someone, so if I'm just cruising along, then I can be like, like that. Now that was a little jerky, my apologies, I'm still not very the best at it, but I at least have an idea of how you do it. So I'm going to get on the highway and I'm going to try to show you some highway usage with this. If you haven't noticed already, I am doing a little bit of heel toe technique and I will be posting a heel toe technique. Uh, a heel toe technique video shortly after this one so if you're interested in how to do heel toe there will be a video that I'll be posting soon you'll know if you're doing it a little too much if your car if you get slammed back a little bit in your seat if that happens that means you're revving just a little too high or you're releasing the clutch while you're still giving gas you have to time it to where you're you're accelerating but right as you disengage the clutch, you let off the gas just slightly. Um, so that way you don't get any weird jerkiness to your um, shifting. There's a car up here in the right lane. So I can quickly downshift like that by rev matching in order to overpass them. Another car up here, I'll do the same thing. So once again, when I'm ready to pass, I'll just rev match. Like that. So it's a great way to get instant power with that good throttle response. You 
typically don't get that on an automatic car. That's why manual cars for launch racing, like on the highway or, or somewhere where it's legal, um, is better than um, an automatic car because you have that instant response to the throttle. So here's the other place where uh, red matching is good. So I'm getting up the highway right now and as I'm getting off I can just red match it into fifth then red match or and red match it into fourth like that. So it's a real good way of how to start slowing down your vehicle without losing too much speed and without having to brake as much. Once again, red match like that. So let's say I wanted to um, let's say I wanted to red match down two gears. What would you do? Well, you would do the same process, except by instead of shifting down one gear, you'd shift down two. And you would also rev up higher because, of course, you're going to be going into a lower gear. Um, so you're going to need that extra RPM. So, once again, I'll put it in the clutch, put it down two gears, just like that. I went from fourth to second. I wouldn't recommend doing that from third to first. However, I I do it all the time going into second. Red matching is good because as you, like for instance, I'm approaching a car and if I want to slow down but not necessarily use my brakes, so a slow slow down, I can just shift into a lower gear like that. And it will and it will help me approach the car while slowing down but not necessarily using my brakes. But that's how you get like when you're down shifting in a manual car, that's how you get the blipping and everything, the in the cracks and the pops from down shifting like that. If you do it just right, you can get that just absolutely sexy phenomenal noise that every manual car guy ever just absolutely orgasms over. If you like this video, make sure to like, subscribe, comment, and share this content with your friends, your family, your dog, your wife, whoever. We're just trying to get a name out right now. Please, please tell everyone you know about this video. We appreciate it. Please, please share with your friends. Also, down in the description below, there will be a link to our Instagram account. So if you want to follow us at Aces of Society or Aces underscore of underscore society um, on Instagram you can follow us there we post daily content of whatever we're doing with our cars um, also there will be a link to our GoFundUs account or GoFundMe account um, we're, we're, we don't have good recording quality so we're really trying to get some people to donate um, and help us out